Okay. So we were talking about the month ending provisions yesterday, uh, right? So we discussed the month ending provisions, and then uh, I was talking about the uh, reversal of documents. Reversal of documents means why? Once uh, end user post any wrong entry, and system will uh, can't delete the document, right? So once you post an entry, system will generate the document. Once system generate the document, we cannot delete that. Okay, so the only option is we have to reverse that. Okay, yesterday we have seen the individual document reversal where I can reversal only one document in FD08. If you want to reverse the reversal of document, the same T code FD02. From there itself, by giving that reversal document number, I can re reverse. Mass reversal F.80. Mass reversal means suppose you want uh, multiple reversal documents, multiple documents you want reversal at a time. So this when we use no, actually this uh, we use uh, at a time of uh, uh, depreciation related provisions. Uh, at the year ending, we have to reverse all the depreciation related provisions usually. So that time we use this option for any other reason. If you want to reverse the multiple documents at a time. So give the company code like this. So what is that F.80? Give the uh, docu uh, document numbers 1 to 100. So you want reversal at a time, all the document numbers, just give that if in between these, if you want to exclude any. Okay, first give the physical year. Without giving physical year. And then reversal reason when you are going to reversal. I want reversal in current period this month in November. So in between one to hundred, you won't exclude any documents. Suppose I don't want. Uh, uh, reversal, these are the document numbers. So you can, by giving that, okay, number range also, you can exclude from reversal, okay? So this is a, okay? So here in F.80, we can reversal multiple documents, okay? I'm not going to do this, okay? We don't have multiple documents. I'm just showing, okay? F.80. Next. This is also over. Yeah, this accrual different document we already discussed. Month ending provisions. Creating the provisions and after that we have to reverse. What is the T code we use? FDS1 is the for the creation of provision. F.81 is for reversal of accrual different document. This we already discussed. Only thing is, this is left cleared item reversal. What is cleared item reversal? So here I create the provision. Okay, so then it, it comes under as an open item. We know that. Okay, after that I did the payment also. Say for example, I did the payment. When I did the payment, where it comes? It comes under cleared item. Okay, I create the salary provision. Yes, it comes under open item. And after that, I uh, paid the amount also. Say, for example, I issue the check for the salaries for the employee. So when I issue the check automatically, that is also comes at a cleared item. But here the scenario is between uh, the period like uh, the employee, he didn't encash the amount from the bank. Say, for example, I issue the check. So I, I made the item as a cleared item, but he didn't encash the check from the bank. Before he encashed the amount from the bank, Okay, so you just came to know that there are some uh, issue with him. So you want to cancel the payment. Okay, so if you want to cancel the payment, what you will do manually, so you can call to the bank people, so you can update them, don't make the payment. Yes, they will stop the payment. So when they will stop the payment, they are not going to clear the amount to the your employee. So what you will do, you have to, make it that cleared item again as a open item, right or not? 
right? So how? By using FDRA. Okay. First, let me post one transaction. I will show you this practically. Okay. So what I do now? First, let me post F dash zero to open provision. Okay, so what I do now? Month ending of August, okay. July means okay. Month ending August, I am going to make a provision. Okay, company code. As we know, as usual, salary is going to debit. Update the profit centers. Okay, so then 50 outstanding expense account. Okay, enter. Start update profit centers plus. Okay, just save it. So obviously, where it is. In FAG LL03, obviously it is under open item management, under open item. Okay. Then September 1st, say for example, uh, I am going to make the payment. So let me show you that uh, FAGLL03. So here, when I take this outstanding expense account and when I give this August month ending, obviously it is there under open item management. Yes, one lakh sixty-five thousand rupees is the. It is comes under open item. Okay, so next, what I have to do? I have to make the payment, right? F dash zero seven. So uh, September, okay. September. Change the document type as SCA. We are using this transaction code for GL purpose. Give the cash amount. Normally, uh, if you have a separate GL account for cash, uh, GL, sorry, relating to bank GL account, we can use this. In uh, when we create the bank GL account, so when we issue the check, we have to give the here bank GL account. Okay. So here I am going to. One lakh five hundred, right? Outstanding expense account. We should update the profit center. Here I am giving cash. Just what I am telling you know. Suppose if I issue the check for the check, I, if I create the two lakhs one hundred and five GL account, you have to give that check related GL account. Okay. So that is also we'll see. Okay. Next topic interest uh, calculation for bank. That is also we can see that. Okay. So here I'm giving, just for example, I'm giving cash GL account only, okay? Select process. So here it will show the, all the line items. I entered 1,65,000 rupees. This is the other item, okay? But I'm, I entered 1,65,000 for which invoice? This invoice, 
just double click so against that invoice i adjusted that amount once you adjusted that it becomes zero the amount is adjusted to that invoice yes save it yeah after paying okay fag ll03 if i go what is the date should i give after paying september 01 09 yeah yes. september 1st if i look at that obviously it is not there under open it because i paid the payment i issue the check so the, but 165 is not there right so just go back where it is here cleared item okay this is a cleared item okay so but what i happen i issue the check okay but i use the cash gl account and normally we have to use the instead of 2 lakh 1 lakh 2 lakh 100 gl we have to use the cash related gl okay since i didn't create i use the cash gl only okay so this is a scenario what i am telling i issue the check for him so when i issue the check he came under cleared item it, this item came under cleared item but before he encashed the amount you want to stop the payment for him so you cancel the check by call by calling to the bank people yes they stop the payment so again this item you have to show where as a open item again still you want to you want make it uh, as a cleared item tell me you have to show it as again open item right open no. item yeah so again i have to send it back to the opening item how you know what is the clearing document number here, here you can see for this 14 so uh, by reversal that 14 document okay automatically it comes again as a open item okay. okay so now i will show you again when i give the september first it's not there under open item it's not there but once if i reverse it will come again as a, again open item let me show you. so where fbr is in fbr way give the document number you have to give that the particular clearing document number okay okay clear item reverse Yes, yeah, sorry. I just give the. I have to give the only forty document number. Okay, just save it. Reset and reverse. Enter. Fourteen is reset, and one more document is going to generate. That is fifty. Okay, so in fifteen, what is the entry? Let's see that. What is the entry in fifteen? Yeah, zero. So cash fifty is obviously cash is debit. Again, outstanding is credit because I paid the cash now. So cash is obviously going to debit, right? And again, your outstanding will show is as a credit balance, as a open item. i will show you this is the entry we have to see the ledger right when i reverse the 14 15 document has generated that's okay what is the fag ln03 previous when i gave you this uh, september 1st it was not there and i open it up execute 
now again it came as an open item or not but right this is about reversal of cleared item once i reverse the cleared item again it come as a open item okay these are all reversal documents any questions here My voice is breaking. Ramya, that is your problem, Ramya. Your net connection is never worked out. Okay, fine. Next. So, next. Uh, any doubts here? Please tell me. Madam? Uh, yeah. FB0 traverse, uh, reversal means uh, it, it will uh, uh, give the new document number. But uh, yes. FB, uh, FB area reversal, it will uh, uh, gives the same document number, old document no, number. No, no, no. 14 reversed and what was the document number generated? 15. Oh, 15. But uh, there are open items seeing, we are watching. The no, that yeah. was the entry what? Uh, one second. The cash, 15 is what? Cash is debit, outstanding is credit. This is again like a provision. Provision is what this is provision? For uh, salary is salary. Uh, yeah. salary is debit, outstanding is credit. New document generated. See, actually in F-07, I paid the cash, right? F-07. Mm -hmm. So cash should be again debit, right? Cash right. is debit, outstanding is credit. Yeah. 14 reverse, 15 was document uh, is automatically. This again 13 obviously will come. Okay. okay. Because okay. again, what is this entry? Tell me. 13th, what was the entry? This means what what do you think? What is the entry? This one? Um, cash is and debit. Oh. Or not? No, 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 no. Salary is going to debit. Uh, salary debit and outstanding uh, is outstanding credit. credit. Yeah. Ah, yeah. If you reverse the 14 only, again 13 will come into picture. Yes. Okay, ma'am. Understood? Yeah. yeah. So because I reverse the cash, I will show you FB03. Let me show you 13. 13 actually, I create the provision here. Salary is debit. This is the first. After that, what I did? After that, I paid the payment. First, salary is debit, outstanding is credit. After paying, what is the entry? Tell me. 14th document number. Right? Cash is credit, outstanding is credit. If I reverse this, right, what happened? Tell me. One second, I will show you in Excel sheet. Understood or not? Okay, let me show you in the Excel sheet so that you can understand. So, 13th document is what salary debit outstanding right 14th is what 14 cash credit and mm. outstanding credit cash debit outstanding debits oh yes so finally, this and this so up to here what? Salary is debit, cash is credit. It's over. But again, what I'm doing? I am going to reverse this one. I have to reverse because I cancel the payment. Once I cancel the payment, what happened? Tell me. Once I cancel the payment, your cash is going to get back, right? Oh, yes, madam. Uh, one, second, one, second, one second. One second. See, this is salary is going to debit. Outstanding is credit. Right. Now I am going to pay cash. Right? So yes. cash means what? Outstanding is debit. Right? Cash is credit. I paid the cash. Obviously, cash is going. Now, I cancel the payment. So, my cash is coming back. Cash is debit. Again. 
What is the entry tell me? Cash is debit. Cash is uh, outstanding credit. credit. So here, this cash when I paid 14th document number, I reverse. When I reverse, automatically what happened? Cash is debit. Okay. Outstanding again come as a credit. Credit. So again, this in this end got nullified, right or not? This is the entry, this entry. Oh, yes, ma'am. Oh, so finally, again, 13 will come. Is yes, it? I, yes, 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 I got it. So here, outstanding will become credit. So again, it comes as a open item. Okay? Mm, yes. If I don't reverse this, if I don't reverse this, it will not come again. Okay. okay. Because I am taking that 14th clearing document number as a link. 14th taking I am taking. That is the reason I am reversing that. Okay. This is about reversal of, sorry, uh, re cleared item reversal. Okay. Next. Next is small topic. Okay. Now, let me discuss, this is a small topic. Let me discuss foreign currency transaction. Okay. Foreign currency transaction means, suppose, uh, our company code is what? N16. N16, uh, they have to pay some expenditure. Say, for example, uh, he purchased some material from vendor, I mean, from outside the country. He has to pay in Say, for example, uh, our client N16, okay, import some material from USA. Okay, so our company code has to pay in USD dollars to the vendor, right or not? Right? Yes, yes. Or else, suppose our N16 company code, okay, he exports some material. Okay, he exports some material. In this case, he will get what? USD dollar, right? Is it? He will receive some USD dollar. In, in case of import, import means he has taken, suppose he purchased some material or whatever he has to pay to the vendor in USD dollar. Or in case of export, he's selling some goods or whatever. He receives some USD dollar. So that USD dollar he has to post in a he has to make payment in USD or he has to receive the amount from USD, whatever. Before that, in our system, there should be what is how first uh, one dollar $1 is equal to how much you have to tell the system or not. Okay, I'll give ten dollars directly in F-02. You will give ten dollars. I'm going to take you will do that. You have to tell the system one dollar is equal to how much you have to tell it right. How? Okay. So we have to maintain from uh, SAP FICO as a consultant, we have to maintain some rates, conversion ratios. Okay, we have some three types. Bank buying, bank selling, average. What is that? Bank buying, bank selling, average. Bank buying means, what do you think? Don't think you are buying from bank. This is bank prospective, exchange bank. Exchange, okay. Bank is going to buy from you. Okay. Bank selling means 
bank going to sell you okay when will bank buy a bank buy means what n16 company code is selling to the bank is it right or not yes madam okay. bank okay others also please if you don't understand uh, you can ask me please what i am telling bank buying means you are suppose you are the n16 company code you are selling you are selling usd dollar to bank when you sell the usd dollar to the bank suppose you export something you received usd dollar from usa so that dollars you are going to sell to the bank bank is going to buy from you that is defined by the g tag bank selling means you are buying from the bank when you need to buy the ex, uh, foreign currency from the bank suppose you need to pay some expenditure to your vendor who is in usa okay so you need some usd dollars so you want to buy from the bank so bank is selling to you that is defined by the b type average rate means actually uh, average rate normally we use actually there are so many fluctuations in the foreign currency you know normally what we use you know average rate we will take this rate this rate by two we will take this average rate actually suppose you paid to lay you paid you paid 72 rupees okay but at the month ending might be it is 75 or 70 rupees right so if it is loss or uh, profit we have to value it at the month ending we have to charge to the pnl account that we have to take care at the month ending okay so that is the reason we use average rate normally also understood so bank buying bank selling average usually mmsd guys they use the average rate means they will take the bank buying bank selling by two they use this average rate. bank buying is always little high than bank selling sorry bank selling is always high suppose bank buy from you 70 rupees but bank selling always 72 so bank selling rate is always high okay understood bank selling always little high compared to the bank buy okay any questions here what is bank buying bank selling average rate right? no ma'am are you sure okay madam uh, one second can you tell me uh, average rate please average rate nothing suppose bank buying is 72 okay what i told bank selling is high or bank buying is high always bank sell you at high price when it take it buy from you suppose bank buying is 70 bank selling means 72 average means 70 plus 72 by 2 72 okay 70 plus 72 by 2 understood that is called average rate okay so these g type b type m type these are already defined in the sap system okay let me show you uh, we are not going to create them okay we are not going to create them it is already there let me show you general settings currencies here exchange rate check 
there is meaning of check means you just check it no need to create this it is predefined by the system so let me show you here first okay position g right g is banked by unit it is already predefined no need to create them okay next is b b means bank is going to sorry bank is selling to you selling rate m position m m means average rate average means g plus g plus b plus normally how you can do average by two right how many items are there items plus by how many number of items so in the same way here average means g plus b by 2 suppose g is 70 rupees b is 72 by 2 that is called m rate average rate okay so here these are all predefined gbm is already there so by taking them we have to do under that uh, gbm we have to maintain the rates okay so these are already predefined i am not going to do anything here i just shown that okay next okay but you have to tell the system how much one dollar is equal to this uh, how much one dollar per currency you have to tell the conversion ratios between the currency so these are international standards these are also we no need to maintain it is come it come with by default in sap system so even if you google in a in a, even if you google also the conversion ratios between usd to inr is 1 is to 1 gpy to inr is 100 is to 1 ur to inr 1 is to 1 these are international standards so it is given by sap also okay so let me show you this also defined translation ratios here i will show you suppose exchange rate i will take g type from currency usd to inr i will show you what is the ratios between usd to inr what is that tell me 1 is to 1 1 is to 1 so these also you no need to maintain that manually so by default because wherever you were these ratios are same we no need to maintain them separately it comes with by uh, sap itself okay understood so this is z type b type also it is there no need usd to like i am just showing usd to inr like this gbp to inr usd to gbp okay so all usd to zir usd to Z, zpy usd to italy so all our conversion ratios already predefined one is to one okay b is also over. so these ratios are also we no need to maintain so rates also given and ratios also given only one thing is we have to maintain the rates rates why because there are so many fluctuations on day to day basis right between the foreign currency suppose today is 72 rupees you are you are buying from the bank 72 and tomorrow you can buy from bank 75 how system will come to know you have to make uh, you have to enter those values manually those rates you have to give manually okay these rates these exchange type and rates i mean ratios we are not going to maintain anything manually okay understood any questions no okay madam that um, manually every day usd dollar rate we have to uh, enter madam one second i will show you that for that is called i will show you 
here we have to enter the exchange rates okay here in small organization they have to enter manually this is called forex table this screen is also available at the end user screen in from sap is access okay so here yes as you asked we have to give maintain manually means we have to maintain yes if it is small organization actually some big organization there is a interface interfaces between the bank and the sap system so in this case from bank server or whenever the bank server is updated your sap server is also updated automatically because we have some interfaces intermediate tools are there between the your n16 company code and to the bank understood in case of small companies they can maintain manual okay yes madam okay. madam this uh, okay. this is by um, company uh, uh, management or uh, developer end user end user end user will maintain this because we are the fu function consultant after implementation you always will be there in the end user place no right mm -hmm. so this screen is available in spro as well as the same screen is available at the sap is access the part okay. which is given in the document also you can check there okay because end user has to enter uh, work on this values right mm -hmm. so maybe sometimes happens daily basis weekly basis right so this screen is available at both and again who enter this value means it depends on the client whoever have the act uh, responsible to take care of this foreign currency that end user will take care of. only for that end user will be having access for this okay yes yes sir yes, okay so let me create this okay now what i am giving g type okay here i am giving valid from g type valid from today's date is what 11 okay so here here from usd to inr i am giving what usd to inr that is called direct quotation indirect quotation means inr to usd i am giving usd to inr this is what g means what bank buying bank buying bank buy at you bank is going to buy from you say uh, 70 rupees only okay so b type means bank sell at at today's date i am giving sorry 26 so bank buying is what bank selling is what tell me bank buying is more bank selling is more do you think bank selling more madam ha ah, always bank, bank sell you at little more price out, always okay so then m type okay then m type means what should i give tell me can anybody guess 71 70 plus 72 by 2 2 Average is 71. So approximately 71. I'm. Are you sure 70 by 72 by 2? How much did you calculate? Yes, ma'am. 71. 70 plus 72 by 2. Seventy point five. This is average rate. I am not okay. 
ओके सपोज ट्वेंटी सिक्स दिस ओके दिस बैंड सेलिंग इज ओके सेवेंटी टू ओके सपोज ट्वेंटी फोर्थ दिस बैंड सेलिंग रेट इज से फॉर एग्जाम्पल ट्वेंटी फोर्थ A twenty fourth. What is the bank selling rate? Twenty seventy five and twenty six is seventy two. Suppose my question is, I am posting on twenty fifth. I am posting. I am paying. I am twenty fifth. Twenty fifth. I am paying. Okay. So it will take twenty sixth or twenty fourth. Tell me if I pay twenty twenty fifth. Understood what I am asking. I am posting some transaction on twenty fifth. It will take it will take this or this twenty sixth or twenty fifth. It will take twenty four. It will take twenty ah. fourth. Yes. Let me take because twenty sixth we didn't enter. Yeah. One second. I will show you again. Let me. I will show you again this one. Anyway, it's not required. Okay. I'll save it. Okay. Fine. Now let us do transaction. Saved. So this is the way we can maintain the rate. Okay. Now, next is suppose I have to pay salaries. I have to pay rent. Okay. I have to pay salaries. I have to pay rent. And which which type I have to use B type or uh, yes uh, B type G type. I have to pay. I have to pay means what? I have to buy B from. Dinner. Dinner. Huh? Huh? Okay. Ah, so I have to pay to the bank. So I have to pay to some salaries to or say a vendor who is there outside. I have to pay USD dollars means I have to buy from bank. Yes. How to buy from bank means bank is selling to us. Bank selling is defined by which type? B type, right? Here, where we can maintain the document types? I show you O B. A seven document types number range we maintained or not one to one lakh right what is the document type we are maintaining for GL SA document type right in SA document type by default we have to assign this B type in SA document type okay we have to assign B type. So by default, when you are paying, when you are paying in a F dash zero two, by default it will show the rates. For this B type, I assign the rates or not in the forex table? Is it how system will take eighty or seventy, seventy two or whatever from forex table? In document type, we have to assign the B type. Understood? So for B type, I already in the forex table. I assign the seventy two or seventy five, whatever I already assign. Okay, let us do posting. If I don't, if I don't assign this B type system at the time of posting, cannot retrieve the values from the forex table. Remember, if I assigning this only, it will able to retrieve that. Okay, so I am posting some transaction. I am going to make the payment in F dash zero two. Okay, in F dash zero two, 
Okay, today 26. When I take 26. Okay, salaries I'm going to pay. 4 lakhs 100. Here I should give USD. Enter. Enter. Say hundred dollars. Fifty cash. How much it has taken? Seventy two. Did I give manually here? I just given the hundred dollars. How it has taken? Tell me. Because under this, when I am posting F-02, SA document type I have given. In SA document type, I have given B type. In the Forex table, in the Forex table for B type, what is the rate? 72. Right or not? Is it right or not? Yes, madam. Okay. Yes, madam. Okay. Suppose if I give it manually. Suppose if I don't give manually. Suppose the same day what I do, no? I'll give manually. If I give manually, suppose I'll give 80 manually. It will take manually. Uh, if I give manually, it will take the 80 rupees. So I will show you that. Okay. I'm giving it. If I give you the rate manually, it will not go to the forex table. Okay. But it shows the deviation. So I'm giving 80. 72 rupees is there actually in the forex table. This is the variance. Also, it will show you. This is just warning message. Ignore. Hundred dollars. How much it has taken? Eighty rupees on it has taken. Right? If I give manually, it will manual. Oh, the trade order. Okay, this is another transaction. Suppose I am posting on 24th. One more transaction. If I take, if I post on, I'm not giving anything, but how to change USD? Oh, next 100. Let's see what, what which rate it will take. Seventy five of where it has taken. Let me go to Forex table on twenty four. Seventy five is there, right? So if I post to twenty fifth, also it will take seventy five. If I post to twenty sixth, it will take. Send it. This G type when we use, no, when you receive any amount from the customer. Okay, when you receive the amount from the customer, that time uh, we receive the four currency from the customer that we use in case of accounts receivable. In different documents, see, in each model wise, we are using what uh, document types. Since we are in GL model, we are using what SA document type. In case of accounts payable, KR, KZ, KA document I have to use. In case of uh, accounts receivable, DR, DZ, DA. So in case of uh, accounts receivable, we have to, in DZ document type, DZ document type we use for the customer incoming amount. There we have to assign the Z type. Understood? So we don't use B type only for SA document type. So depends on the scenario. This B document type, suppose you are receiving 
uh, amount uh, you are paying some amount to the vendor paying some amount to the vendor when you pay the vendor the document that which we use is kz document type in kz document i also have to assign this b document type not only in sa okay when we go for accounts payable accounts receivable we have to use different different document types depends on the scenario suppose you are paying means in those document type b you should assign you are receiving from the amount customer means in that document type we have to assign z suppose i will show you ob a7 where we maintain the document types here sa is you uh, document type we use only for gl in case of dz dz means what you know we are receiving amount from the customer here we have to assign which type tell me z or b b uh, z okay z type because if you receive the amount from the customer z type in the same way here uh, dz for you are receiving amount from the customer like that kz is there kz means for the vendor you are making the payment to the vendor what is the document type i should assign here b b not only in sa document type yes sa we are using only for gl purpose normal transaction there i show you but in real time in each and every document type we have to make and the should second here yeah i want to take the session not this session any doubts or anything i want to take the session who are going to join please tell me based on that i will make a planning 